What's up guys, welcome back to Goshen's Games, and welcome back to another video on Sword Art Online Integral Factor. Now, we're gonna go over the, uh, the update that we just had, like, in different segments, because there's so much that came with this past update, that it's just too much to just, like, put into one video, so we're gonna go ahead and just break it down, video by video, and we're gonna start with the banners that dropped, alright? Uh, we have two new banners. And we're going to go over these banners just really fast. Not, I already went over that banner. We're going to go over this banner right here. The one-handed rapier pickup order. Now, I'm just going to tell you right now. I said this before. I said this in the video where we had the last banner, which was the Yuki banner. Uh, or it was a one-handed sword banner. I'm sorry, but they put Yuki on it. Uh, this is a trap banner, okay? It's a trap banner. Don't go for it. Now, the skill itself is just okay. Like... It's, it's um, it, obviously a one-handed rapier. All these units are one-handed rapier skills. It's a holy damage, which is kind of cool because we don't really have that many. This this skill right here, this is the, the main banner unit. This skill right here is made to fight the raid boss. Okay, so it does thrust and holy damage, both of which the raid boss is weak to. Alright, so that's what this ability is good for. It's a single uh, single target damage, 660% damage, which is just kind of okay. 660% is not high damage, but it's not low damage. It's like in the middle ground, to be honest with you. Uh, and then you have, it says, all the stack buffs affected to the enemy will... Minus two in numbers of stacks will not be low zero. I'm not entirely sure what the hell that means. Uh, just be honest with you, like... They need to hire better translators because that's just like really poor translations. All I see that from that is that uh, it, it takes off two of the stack buffs from the enemy. I, I don't know why that would be there. I, I mean, I, I guess if they had stacked armor or something, I, I guess that's what that's, that's for. But still, um, we have the Black Lily Flash Asuna, which is actually not a bad unit. This is this one here. Uh, this is the, the Asuna that we had a little bit ago. It's um, basically like a, a parry type of unit or a repost. Wait, it says repost. Um, she does 700% damage and then all damages will be reduced by 25%. So she gives you a buff, a temporary buff that reduces damage by 25% and kind of puts like a thorn mail type of uh, armor on you for a brief period because then it reflects 50% of the damage back to the enemy. Which is, again, really cool. Uh, we have this one here, which is Ice Cold Glare Mater. This, this ability is a cool one to look at. Um, but it's really not that great. Like, 650% damage. It is a water type, which is not too bad. Because we don't really have a lot of water type units. So, I'm not, like... It's not... It's okay. Uh, and then she increases your critical damage by 50%. Now, that I do like. They actually need to have more skills like that. Because there's one thing that's critical rate, and then there's another that's critical damage. So she increases the critical damage that is done by 50%. So if your critical damage normally would have been 100 damage, you're not doing 150. So it's that much more damage output. And that's, that's what makes that ability actually useful, is that 50% increase with critical damage. This Silica here... Um, She's a high damage single target unit and it's an earth type and she does she gives you more of a, a uh, resistance to ailments so as you can see here every debuff uh, par uh, paralysis stun sleep curse poison burn bleed frostbite resistance will be plus 100 percent for six seconds that's actually really busted meaning that you're not going to be able to get uh, you're not going to be able to be debuffed when you use this ability for 6 seconds. So that's actually really good. Uh, then we got this Asuna, which she's coming back. It's a dark type Asuna. 600% uh, damage AoE unit. 600% damage is not really like that great. Uh, but she does cause the enemy to bleed, which is actually quite nice. Uh, and then finally we have this Asuna here. Which is another single target, but this is like, this is the really good one. Like, a lot of people call this one the Meteor Asana. 860% uh, damage is really good. And then thrust damage uh, is increased by 25% for 8 seconds. So then you're doing even more damage on your other rapier uh, skills. So this, this skill right here, this Asana is probably like the best one out of the bunch, to be honest with you. Because this Asana is like broken. 
especially for rapier users like if you are a rapier user and you don't have this asana this is the asana that you would want to get but again i digress oops i digress this is not a good banner to summon on I just like throw that out there i mean if you if you have 1500 arcana gems just laying around and you're like i don't really care i'm gonna i want to use them then fine go on this 1500 don't use any more than that just whatever do the discounted i don't care it's your your money your arcana gems whatever but i'm gonna tell you right now it's a trap banner don't go for it all right that's that's what i say i mean it's my opinion you do what you want i don't control you i don't tell you what to do i just give you the advice the next banner is the allied knight order part two with the kirito and sachi this kirito just really quick is basically candy yuki just more damage all right so he does he does 780 percent damage and he's a dark type but it's still it's the exact same animation just with dark type uh on it and extra damage even same sp cost 60 um 64 34 sp cost probably it doesn't say the cooldown time but it probably has the same cooldown time as well so it's just a reskinned candy yuki i don't know what i don't know what i said but it's candy yuki reskin candy yuki uh five time damage aoe uh heals you for five percent of your health after putting down the enemy or after putting down a monster same thing it's the same thing it's a good skill especially being dark type we don't have a lot of those uh, for swords, so I mean, actually, we do. But you know what? Still, it, you know, it, it'll be useful later on when we find a dark type enemy, or you know, weak to dark type. Um, next skill on this is the Sachi, which the Sachi is actually really good. I like the Sachi, uh, and the reason why I like the Sachi, if you guys got that Mace ability that we that we just had not too long ago, where the Mace ability uh, d uh, does bonus damage depending on your health. Or like the damage output is increased based on your health. If you have this Saji that's and you had that that may skill, this is perfect for you. This is perfect. She gives 15% more health. So your maximum health goes up by 15%. That is broken. Especially the longer that the game progresses, this the 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 lifespan of this skill is actually that much greater because as we have more health, she gives you more health. All right, so that's like really, really, really broken. And on top of that, she gives you frostbite resistance, which is really good, especially now in this meta, floor eight, where everything is just like frostbite. Uh, as far as her, hate, her HP goes, 1550 for HP is not bad. Um, her attack is low, 39. Defense is kind of, kind of, you know, on the higher side, 50. So these are good skills, but again, it's a bad banner. You don't want to go on the banner. Not a good banner. Wait till part three where they will combine both of the banners together. All right. So you want to wait for that. So that, that's my analysis on these banners for right now. Um, keep in mind, we do have the raid event going on. So I will be live streaming that throughout the week. The raid event is for two weeks. Uh, and also stay tuned for my other videos on the updates for the raid and the the new dungeon and everything else like that so until then guys i will catch you all later thank you so much for watching the video don't forget to hit the like button subscribe if you guys are new and you guys have a great rest of your day peace out guys